that. Well, I believe that I've gone live, but after last week's episode, Tiny Mishap, I'm just going to check and see if that's actually what's happened. So if you're tuning in, um, it would be amazing to say hi. I can see that the page has actually gone live and it's broadcasting into my group, which is amazing. So I wanted to do this before I did the live on Instagram as well. I'm just going to tag everyone because this is a brand new series. And if there's anyone that's been wanting to catch up on it, I don't want you to miss out. So I hope this Sunday evening finds you well. I will just talk for a minute or two before I hit the live button to go live on Instagram as well. I'm just going to tweak my lighting ever so slightly because it can be a little bit off-putting if the lighting isn't right. I don't know if I like that. I think I prefer the bright lighting. Let's just do that again. Not that one. We wanted it. There we go. I think that's fine. So if you can see me, I'd love to know. Drop me a heart, drop me a like. I can look into that camera. I can look into that camera. I think we've actually got it right this time. Current frame rate is too low. I don't know what that means. So I'm going to hope that this still works. If it's a bit glitchy, I'd love feedback on that. Any feedback that you've got at all. I'm doing the best I can with the lighting. This says something about a, a low frame rate, but I don't know what that means. I'm not technical. I'm not pretending to be technical. That's just me. I'm just being honest. So if you can see me, please drop me a love or a quick comment. Say hi. Let me know how you're doing this evening. Um, I can see everything's coming up live. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to hit the live button on Instagram too. And then we can start. So this one says check in connection. You are now live on Instagram. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. It's Sunday, the 11th of September. This is my brand new Heartfelt Habits series. If you're new to my world, you've not seen me before or you've just caught this on um, a video feed somewhere. Maybe you've just come across it on Instagram or perhaps you've only been following my page or joined my group recently. Hello, hello, hello. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're well. Um, what I'm basically doing is every Sunday evening, I'm going to be bringing to you some live videos, which are all about helping you get in touch with, get better connected with you from the inside out. It's about um, helping you take a look at what's possible for you, giving yourself a moment to be in a space that's for you so that you can learn to put yourself back on the list once more. One of the things that I see so often and um, in so many conversations that I have with the women that are in my world is that if there's a list, let's not call it a to-do list, but a priority list, the general feeling is they don't know where they are on it, if they're even on it at all, if they've even got a list. And I am passionate about helping women understand that it is absolutely OK to need something for you, to want something for yourself. And I gently, in my heartfelt way, find a way to help you do something, take some action, that helps you to really learn how to do that in a way that works for you. So there's no one size fits all. But what this opportunity is, is a few minutes. Usually the videos are going to be 20 to 30 minutes at most once a week with the occasional popping in live on my in my Facebook group, which is the Self Compassion Collective um, and various other places that you'll see me popping up to give you something to think about for that week. And so the reason that I'm doing these on a Sunday evening is because quite often on a Sunday evening, you might have a few things going on. It might be that time, it's that weird space, isn't it, on a Sunday where you're like, right, okay, I'm done relaxing now and actually maybe I'm ready for the week ahead. Or perhaps you don't feel like that. And indeed, if you're not really anywhere that you're comfortable with on your list, 
that's probably more than likely how you will be feeling. And um, it was a few weeks ago, I'd started thinking about doing a brand new series that I wanted to bring to more than one place. So I used to go live regularly in my Facebook group, which I loved doing, but I felt like it was time to change things up a little bit, do something that was a little bit more out there on a platform that more people could connect with. So these are going to be put on my YouTube channel and um, reformatted into blog posts and little snippets throughout the week to remind you that it really is 100% absolutely okay to think about what you need and in some respects do that before you think about what everybody else needs all the bloody time okay so heartfelt habits is here to help you gently find a way to put you higher up that, that list that infamous list and each um, week I've, I've planned out quite a few different starting points that are going to be kind of like the topic that week and it'll gently help you to assess, look at where you are and then start to think about where you want to be. So last week, the first week, didn't go quite to plan. Um, it turned out that my broadcast was actually a practice broadcast on Facebook. So I don't think it got shared. I think I ended up sharing a recording of it, which I wasn't quite so happy about. But anyway, some of the information made it out into the world. So it wasn't completely a waste of time. You always learn something anyway, right? Last week's was Ask Yourself, and it was about asking yourself questions, asking something of yourself in a way that you start to think, well, actually, what do I need? But I'm not going to go too much into that. You can find those on my blog, by the way, jacquelinekent.co.uk. And there's just a blog page there with lots of different hints and tips. And I'll be adding to those now that I'm doing this weekly. Every single week, I'll be adding to those blog posts. This week's is actually what I've called it is gather yourself. And what I mean by that is. It's actually about taking a step back. And before you start really kind of getting a bit more momentum with, OK, who am I and what do I need? Um, and just before I continue, I can see there's a few people watching Instagram. So hi, thank you so much. It's great. Feel free to share this if you think of, think of anyone that might find it useful. Share it to your stories. Do all of that kind of stuff. Tag me in. That would be amazing. I would love that. But anyway. So gather yourself is, OK, when you're starting to think, all right, well, maybe I need to do something different. Feels a little bit scary. Feels a little bit big. Feels a little bit like unfamiliar. And it might feel a bit uncomfortable. So gathering yourself is really about giving yourself permission Give yourself that moment where you're like, OK, I'm about to start doing something maybe a little bit differently. Maybe if you're putting yourself on a list, that is going to mean that you are making some changes in your world. And you're not really sure how that's going to go down with the people or um, connections that you might have or things that you might currently be doing that are actually benefiting from you putting everything else on that list first. So gathering yourself really is about taking that time to be like, I'm going to get ready to do this. Instead of just going full pelt, right, OK, bam, 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 me, 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 me. It doesn't work like that. It's a very, very gradual thing that happens. But just in allowing yourself almost a thinking, feeling, breathing moment just to be like I am actually going to do this because I know that something needs to change and I'm gathering my energy gathering my thoughts gathering my emotions so that I feel ready to do something with it because if you don't take this bit of time now to just steady yourself a little bit 
And actually, as I'm doing this, I know I'm going to come up with ideas for further videos. So I should probably write that down somewhere. <laughs> I had a list as long as your arm of all these words of different ideas that I had. So just write steady. And I'm going to leave that on a bit of paper. Uh, that's how I work. If I don't act on those things or forget them, they'll float away somewhere and I might find them. The ideas floating around the room later. But anyway, just taking this bit of time to just say to yourself, look, it's OK that I'm thinking I need to do something about this. It is OK. I am telling you it is OK. Nobody ever needs to give you permission to do anything differently. But you might be feeling like. Well, it's a bit strange and unusual and I don't know what it means. That's OK. You do kind of need to give yourself a bit of permission to say to yourself. All right. So I've had a little bit of a look at what all of this is that's going on around me that I feel so disconnected and maybe low and drained and taken for granted and just I don't have a minute for myself. So in gathering yourself together and almost bringing yourself in a little bit, holding yourself and giving yourself that little bit of, you know what, this isn't about anybody but me. So this doesn't need to be a conversation that you have with anybody but yourself. Gathering yourself to know that it's OK. To feel like you need to do this and it's also OK. To be getting yourself in a place where you're going to start putting yourself. If not first, at the very least, higher up that list, because when all of the other things become more important, you really are telling yourself a story that you don't matter. And this is what I am trying to find a way to almost re-educate you about. When you tell yourself that your needs are not as important as everybody, as everything else is. Your self-worth goes lower and lower down the list. Your needs become less important, although they're not. And you can convince yourself that doing that isn't actually ne necessary, isn't essential. But there will come a time when you then realise, actually. If I don't, then what happens if I'm not here to be able to reassess all of this stuff and reevaluate it? Because. Quite frankly, my brain's got up and wandered out of the room because I've got so many things on the go and I don't even know who I am. You're going to notice that. So I really just wanted to just. Almost give that to you for you to spend a little bit of a moment with it and be like, oh, shit, yeah. And I know because I have done this myself, I have been there. I have been that person that thought I had to think about absolutely everything for everybody else. And not give myself any kind of space or um, any opportunity even. To be myself in a way that worked for me. So. If this resonates with you, I'd love to know. Feel free to drop me a comment. If you've got any questions about this, obviously, you're more than welcome to inbox me. You can inbox me on Instagram. You can leave comments on here. I know that sometimes if it's on like a, the pub, more public platforms like the Facebook page or on the Instagram feed, you might not want to post that. And that's OK. You can send me private messages. I'm more than open to that because I completely know that. This is something that needs to be dealt with. And I know that because it's a con conversation that I have so often. It's just like, really, this is another person who's saying they don't know where they are on the list. OK, so how's that going to be a thing? How are we going to start helping people find a way to put themselves back on that list 
and then gradually find ways to move up it so that their needs are considered, are seen as important, are taken care of, are met. If you don't meet your needs, you're constantly going to be running round in a cycle. You're going to be like on a hamster wheel. And I don't want that for you. I really don't. So steadying, no, nope. I'm going back to the one that I've just scribbled down there. Gathering yourself is about just kind of making yourself a little space where you can be like, right, something is going to happen here and I need to think about what that means for me and get myself ready to do that thing. You know, it's a little bit like um, if you were an athlete, say, and you were doing a race and it wasn't something that you'd done before, would you, A, just put on your sports gear, get to the starting line, ready, set, go? Or would you do a bunch of preparation stuff beforehand? Would you do some training? Would you start eating better? Would you mentally get yourself in that zone? This is kind of what that is, really. So it's about mentally and emotionally preparing yourself, laying some foundations to do something a little bit bigger. Um, because, you know, um, I'm trying to think what that saying is now. It's just escaped me. It might come back to me in a minute. It's that whole thing about, you know, when you when you prepare to do something, if you turn up for something prepared, you've got a much better chance of succeeding at it. That didn't sound very well at all, but this is me. I speak from the heart. I haven't got a script for these videos. I've literally got a couple of words to know what it is I'm going to say to you. And I never have a clue what's going to come out, which is why these are then going to get turned into blog posts, because I know that there's going to be some snippets of wonderfulness that you can go away with and just sit with and be like, right, yeah, OK. So that's my um, heartfelt habit for you this evening is take some time to gather yourself, your emotions, your thoughts, your energy. Gather your um, headspace together so that it's in a place where you are seeing and realising and understanding. This is what needs to happen. This is what needs to happen. And that is my um, message to you this evening. I'm shuffling my cards. I've got my A to Z of self-care card deck. That's here if you've not seen it. There is a link available in my bio over on Instagram. You can get these through um, various posts on my um, Facebook page or on my website. If you go to JacquelineKent.co.uk, there is a section on there where you're able to find the links for those as well. I created these because I wanted something that gave that opportunity to engage with yourself in a way that you weren't doing all the thinking. And the magic of pulling cards when you're just sitting thinking about what you need is they give you answers that you did not expect. And sometimes those answers are exactly what you needed to hear. More often than not, in the case of some of the card readings that I have done, a couple of cards have jumped out at me there. So we're just gonna go with the top one of those and see what we've got. So we've got, actually we've got two. Okay, I'm gonna go with the second one because I feel like the first one, I think that was actually one that came up last week and it can be useful, but it might be more useful later. So the A to Z of self-care, we have tips and hints of things that you can pick up and start doing, um, activities that you can do, well-being, uh, mindset tricks, all sorts of stuff like that, that just give you a little bit of an opportunity to be like, oh, OK, I'd not have thought of that. We have P for plan which actually falls in really nicely with what I've just been talking about. I'll just show it to that camera as well. There we go. P for plan. And on this card, it just says, book in something in your diary to look forward to, a date, a theatre trip, a holiday. That's all good. But in the context of what I've just been talking about, you could look at it that it's time to plan that bit of time where you're like, 
OK, I'm going to give myself five, ten minutes out, maybe in your lunch break, maybe, um, you know, in that little bit of a lull that you sometimes have after dinner and before you do other things of an evening, um, maybe at the weekend, if there's an opportunity for that, where you're just like, I plan to give myself this time to sit and think about what this is going to mean for me to actually go on a bit of a journey of taking better care of myself. And each of these cards come with an affirmation just across the bottom there. There you are. The affirmation for plan quite simply says, I make things happen. I make things happen. And that's a really powerful statement because if you don't take the action, then what is going to change? You can make things happen. You need to start believing that you can make things happen. You need to realise what is available for you when you actually take decisive action and a step towards in the right direction of something that is actually important to you. And perhaps you're feeling at the moment like this doesn't seem that important. But actually, if you don't do or start to do some of this work for yourself, you're just going to stay at the bottom of that list or not even on it at all. And it's always going to be the same. If you always do things the same, you always get the same results. And that can apply to anything in life, to be completely honest. So that's the thought that I'm going to leave you with. What have we done tonight? 20 minutes, so not bad at all. I hope you've enjoyed this evening's Heartfelt Habits. Um, if you've left any comments for me on Facebook, I have been keeping an eye on it. But because of this whole setup, I don't entirely know how I can engage with everything. So I'll have a little bit of a look at it at the end when I've signed off. Thank you so much for joining in this evening. If you've watched, if it's something that you, somebody maybe you think of that this would be really beneficial for, please do feel free to share it with them. As it's live on Instagram, you're easily able to do that. You can share it to your stories if you want to let people know what you've been up to this evening. You can share it on Facebook. Um, feel free to tag me in the comments. I'd love to see it popping up in your stories and that kind of thing. That would be amazing. And I'm going to sign off for now and I'll look forward to next week's Heartfelt Habits when we'll talk a bit more. I can't remember what the subject is, but I've literally got a list longer than my arm of ideas for how these talks are going to come together. So I'll look forward to seeing you for that very soon. Bye for now.